Everyone's connected, plugged in, switch it on, and nothing would work. Um, this is actually my old pressure washer. Um, and I actually replaced this last year with the K7, which is this model here. Um, I mean, this was only just over a year old when I replaced this. But the reason I replaced this is because it didn't; it stopped working. Um, you know, it just it would not, uh, you know, pressure when you, you switched it on, just like this. You know, everyone's connected, plugged in, switch it on, and nothing would work. Now me, without researching it, I just uh, immediately, because I use these all the time, um, I just ended up going out and buying the, the premium model, thinking that this was totally uh, bust. Uh, but I've had time today just to do a little bit of research on this. Um, I've actually got it working again uh, within five minutes, so I just thought I would share how we do that, in case anybody's got the same problem. Um, I, I think this may work for the other K, you know, one, two, three, four models as well. But don't quote me on that, I've only tried it with the K5. Yeah, so if you have this problem uh, where everything's hooked up to your pressure washer, uh, you know, the, the hose is live, power's on at the wall, and it just will not fire up, it will not work, um, it's worth, um, you know, doing as I'm going to show you. Uh, it's very easy to do, um, and I'm pretty sure it, it may solve the problem. Not always, but it's worth a shot uh, before you either bin this or send it back to Karcher to get it repaired. Okay, so what you need to do, um, just make sure the power's off on your your, your unit. It's obviously plugged into. Uh, leave the hose connected to unit. Um, switch the water off for the moment, which I'll, I'll do just now. Okay, so once the water's off, the power's off, uh, what you need to do now is disconnect this hose here from the actual lance, which is straightforward. Um, you just push this yellow button here and pull the hose out at the same time. Um, I'm one-handed here, so I'll just I'll stop the camera there, get this hose out, and then show you what to do next. Yeah, so what actually causes this issue is an airlock. Um, either within the, the motor somewhere or within the hose. Just basically trapped there. And it seems to trigger, um, you know, some sort of safety switch where it won't allow you to switch the, the actual... Uh, pump on if there's air in the system. So all we're doing here is going to bleed the air out of the system, um, connect all this back up, turn the water on, and then try switching this back on and see if it fires up. So I'll show you what to do. Uh, as I said, um, get to this stage here, go back to the wall, turn the water on. Uh, I'll do that now just to show you. Yeah. So the water's running freely out the hose now, out of here. What you want to do is just leave that for a good five minutes uh, running. The idea being that we want to get any air that's trapped in the in the water and uh, get it out of the system. Uh, we're basically just getting rid of the airlock. You can see that's still spluttering a little bit there, so obviously some air in the system again. So we'll do this for five minutes and um, we'll take it from there. Okay, so I've had the water running for a good five minutes, uh, switched it off at the wall again. Now we just uh, simply replace the hose into the, the lance. Uh, push it in. Okay, back, switch the water on. Okay, so we reconnected the hose, we've got the water back on. Uh, now we want to try and power this unit up now. So we'll just turn this on. Yeah. As you can see, that works fine. That's powered up now, which it wasn't doing before. Let's try the lance. Perfect. Uh, please like the video, uh, share it if you can, if it will help other people. And feel free to subscribe to my channel, it will be much appreciated as well. Okay, thanks for watching, cheers.